I was only trying to be friendly. and try to catch you. Thank <laughs> you. 
he was off again. But this time, he was happy because he had just made a new friend. Casper and that Wendy sure make a gruesome twosome. But I must get home to start the witch's brew. See you later, Wendy dear. We gonna get Casper away from that Wendy's good influence. Yeah. <laughs> it's a witch coil that looks like Wendy. Excuse us, uh, we're nice ghosts and we'd like a word with you. Nice ghosts? Bah! You mean you're a mean little witch coil? That's right, pale puss. They don't call me Wildcat for nothing. Look, Wildcat, just listen to this. <laughs> that sounds like frightful fun. I dyed your outfit red just like Wendy's. Good. I'm dyeing my hair to blonde. Oh, Casper, see who's at the door. Why, Wendy, what are you doing here? I just got lonely without you. But I thought you had to make the witch's brew. I hate flowers. Why, Wendy, you never did anything like this before. Before, I was nice and sweet. Bah! I'll plant this back in the ground again. <laughs> you sure look surprised. I, I sure am. Well, I'm tired of being good. That was a real nice story that Casper read to me. Wendy, is that brew ready? Coming up. What are you trying to do, poisonous? Gosh, while thinking of Casper, I used the wrong ingredients for the brew. Sweet peas and sugar plums. It's all the fault of that goody-goody Casper, that's what. Speaking of spooks, that one reminds me of Casper. Hold on, short sheet. Look at the frightful furies calling me names. Now, if Wendy had a ghost friend like that, <laughs> I'll bet she'd soon be mean like us. And with a little magic, we can make you look like Casper's twin. Sure, I'll change Wendy into a mean witch. Casper, Casper, change into the image of Casper. I'll see who's at the door. Why, it's Casper. Oh, how nice. Uh, you can go out and play, Wendy. Golly, Casper, aren't you afraid to come here? You know how the witches feel about you. Well, I've decided to be as mean as they are. Now look what you've done. Oh. <laughs> I just don't understand what's happened to Wendy. Casper has just got to be all right today. I'm awfully sorry, Wendy. It was really all my fault, Casper. Why, you sound just like my old Wendy. And you're just like my old Casper. <laughs> Today, I'll give Casper Loveless lesson number two. If, if you're Wendy, then who was that? And if you're Casper, then who's that? Here's where I give that Wendy another tough time. Hello, Casper. Well, have you decided to be a ghoul or a good boy today? Why, a ghoul boy, of course. What else? Come on, Wendy. Let's get to the bottom of this. Why, you phony phantom! No girl can talk to me like that and get away with it. Let's break it up, Wendy. Stop! Stop! Uh oh you're the... Yes, we're the real Casper and Wendy. And who are you both? I'm Wildcat! The ghostly trio wanted me to make Casper mean like they are. And the witches made me look like you, Casper, so that I could make Wendy as tough as I am. <laughs> <laughs> Say, don't you two hate us now? Why, of course not. We just feel sorry for you, that's all. But that doesn't make sense. Well, it does if you knew how much fun Wendy and I have by just being good. We'll never know unless we give it a try. That's right! Hey, guys, do you see what I see? Say, hey girls, do you see what I see? You 
crazy skysweepers. Why don't you watch where you're going? Why don't you whitewash spooks watch where you're going? Just like grown-ups, fighting all the time, you'd think they would know better. Somebody lost his hat. April Fool! <laughs> Casper, put it there. Stop it, Spooky! Stop it! <laughs> What's so funny, Spooky? April Fool, chum. So long, Casp. I'm gonna have some fun April Fool of people. No, Spooky, come back. That's not nice. Help! Help! <laughs> 
you'll never fool people again. It's a promise, Casper. Shake. Composer? Dumkop! Who was you expecting, maybe? Padorovsky? Every time I come back to finish my symphony, I'm interrupted! so you can finish your symphony. Ah, now that the silence is more quiet, I start to commence again. He's on crackers. Somebody stop that racket before my head blows off the top of my noodle.
I go. If I don't get an ending, I'll never get to the finish. That's it. Attention all ghosts, attention all ghosts. Prepare for Operation Scare. Power to planes, begin takeoffs. to go out and scare people. If you please, sir, I don't like to scare people. I want to be friendly. Friendly? That's insubordination. You're guilty of conduct unbecoming a ghost. I'm stripping you of your wings. And here's your dishonorable discharge. <laughs> I now give you the ghost of the town, Casper. Friendly ghost. 
If this keeps up, people will never be afraid of us. I've got an idea. Let's pull a scare attack on the television studio. Yeah, yeah. That'll fix Casper. <laughs> It makes. Now for some weightlifting. Grab some logs. What? When we're all tired out from calisthenics? We've got to get as powerful as Casper. All right, all right. Hey, fellas, look. I can lift this big log real easy. I become strong. Why, it's just a hollow, dried out old log. Wise guy. <laughs> Casper, you're back to your normal, miserable size again. <gasps> oh, well, you see, I, I've learned to reduce or grow at will. But I'm still very powerful, so don't get funny with me. 
Yeah? Well, grow powerful right now. Uh, uh, first I have to get a running start. Oh, we think you're kidding us. Oh, no, I'm not. Let me take care of this. Convinced? No, uh, we're convinced. Well, Casper, it was nice visiting with you, but I've got to be leaving now. Golly, so soon. I'm sure glad you came, Powerhouse. You keep exercising and you'll really get big and strong. I sure will. Goodbye, Cousin Powerhouse. So long, Casper. Uh-oh. Fatso's been listening. He must know how we fooled him. Wait till the guys hear this. Where you been, you loafer? We've been exercising like crazy. Yeah, let's throw him in the lake. Wait, let me explain. Casper's a fake. What did you say? Casper had a powerful cousin visiting him. So, that's it. Are you sure, Fatso? I saw both of them. Then that powerful guy took off and left. Left, huh? <laughs> then that leaves Casper to us. I've got to think of something to make them think I can grow big. But what can I do? That's it. My paints. I'll have to hurry. They'll be coming home soon, and they'll be real mad. Now that we're mad enough, we'll scare the living daylights out of that Casper. Uh-oh, I hear them coming. I hope my scheme works. Now, he's bigger than ever. I sure am. Would you like to make something of it? <laughs> uh, please don't hide us, Casper. <laughs> we didn't mean nothing. <laughs> they thought I was standing in front of the real house instead of this cut-out painting I made. And to top it off, the exercising I did really developed a muscle. 